This video shows how to align the antennas for Ericsson Minilink microwave radio links. We will go through the antenna alignment process step by step. The antennas send and receive the radio signal in a very narrow lobe. At most, the lobe is just a few degrees wide. To reach the planned link performance, it is therefore most important to carefully align the antennas to point directly toward each other. This is done when both ends of the link are configured with the correct radio parameters and activated. The transmitter shall be enabled in alignment mode with fixed output power. To align this 0.3 meter single polarization mini link antenna, the needed tools are a 17 millimeter spanner, a torque wrench with 17 millimeter socket, a voltmeter with a test cable for the alignment port. A compass and a pair of binoculars are handy when seeking the direction in which to point the antenna. During outdoor installations, follow the safety regulations for work at height. The installation instructions manual is useful to have at hand as reference, and the parameters for the link, in this case they are printed in a site installation document. Check the site installation document for where the far end of the link is installed. Find a landmark which you can later use as reference. The site installation document should also include the planned received signal strength. This is the value you expect to reach when the antennas are aligned. It is given in volt or dBm. During the alignment, the receive power is measured with the voltmeter connected to the radio. The installation instructions manual contains a conversion diagram between dBm receive power and measured DC voltage. Maximum voltage is approximately 2.5 volt DC. The antenna alignment is easiest and quickest if there is one engineer working at each end of the link, communicating with mobile phones or handheld radios. Use the landmark you found to check that the antenna is pointing approximately towards the far end. It must be possible to do the alignment with the antenna mounts adjusters. The green LED at the radio unit indicates that DC power is applied. Loosen the mount screws a bit so you can move the antenna in azimuth, that is left and right, and in elevation, that is up and down. Remove the weather protective cap from the alignment port. In this case, we have a RAU2X radio unit where the voltmeter is connected with the alignment test cable. For Minilink PT, use the voltmeter's test probes to connect to the alignment port under the O and M cap. Do the alignment at one end of the link at the time. Agree on who will start. OK, I start. The antenna has a maximum peak, the main lobe, which is surrounded by a number of side lobes. You will see these as voltmeter readings. The main lobe gives the highest reading. Here we begin the alignment with the azimuth direction. This antenna has an azimuth adjuster with two nuts. First, completely loosen them. This way the antenna can be moved over the full range left to right. Start at either the left or the right end point. Turn the antenna slowly all the way to the other end point while closely observing the voltmeter. It is important to find the maximum voltage, the main lobe. Remember the maximum reading and the approximate direction in which you found it. Turn the antenna slowly back until you find the main lobe again. Tighten the two azimuth adjuster nuts to prevent the antenna from moving away from the found azimuth direction. Repeat the process for the antenna elevation. Also in this direction, the main lobe is surrounded by side lobes. While closely observing the voltmeter, use the elevation adjuster to direct the antenna first for full up tilt, then for full down tilt, and finally back to where you found the maximum voltmeter reading, the main lobe. When you have found the main lobe in both azimuth and elevation, you can hand over to the far end to do the same.
Don't make any changes to the antenna direction while the far end is being aligned. You can follow the alignment procedure at the far end by observing the voltmeter reading. When the main lobe is found at the far end, it is time for fine alignment of your end. OK, then I continue. This is about finding the absolute peak. You should only have to do very small changes to the antenna direction. Search for the maximum reading in azimuth by carefully adjusting the antenna direction with the two azimuth adjuster nuts. Lock the antenna in place with the two nuts. Do the same for elevation. Carefully adjust the antenna direction with the elevation adjuster. When you are happy with the result, hand over to your colleague at the far end. I'm ready with the fine alignment. It's your turn. The fine alignment procedure is now repeated at the far end. As before, this is seen at the voltmeter in your end of the link. Make sure that both antennas are aligned to give the maximum voltmeter reading. Now you should have reached the expected receive signal strength given in your site installation document. Tighten all the screws using a torque wrench. Make sure the antenna doesn't move while tightening the screws. Have the voltmeter connected and check that the reading does not change. It is a good idea to tighten the screws at one end at a time. This way you know which antenna has moved if you see the voltmeter reading change. Also, tighten the azimuth adjuster nuts. When finished, disconnect the voltmeter. Put the weather protective cap in place. Collect your tools. Make a final inspection of the installation and you're done with the antenna alignment. <laughs>